what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so the official halloween kills trailer was forced to be released today it actually just came out not too long ago at like 9 30 tonight jason blum sent out this tweet a few minutes prior to its release this is due in part to leaks coming out about the trailer stemming all over today on reddit on twitter the full trailer actually ended up leaking so then they went ahead universal and blumhouse they decided to release the trailer officially tonight and i will be saying that this trailer is absolutely breathtaking to look look at i haven't seen a halloween trailer that has gotten me this excited until halloween kills trailer i love all of the halloween films some i will admittedly say that they are trash some of them are in fact just trash some of them, but they're still all for the most part watchable for the most part but none of the trailers even the ones that i've that i've re-watched re like the halloween 5 halloween 6 trailer halloween h2o trailer none of them got me as excited to watch a halloween film even rob zombies trailers this trailer here it's just that freaking good in my honest opinion I, I just watched it you know images started coming out earlier such as the one you see on screen here this is probably the only low quality image of the trailer that i'll show f here in this video right now of judy Greer holding up the mask taunting michael myers which she does in the trailer trying to lure him to that mob that we do get to see a glimpse of in this trailer we see laurie strode's character in the hospital tommy doyle visits her we see him asking her what should they do she responds with the words they should fight and that's exactly what what happens tommy doyle is seen in the trailer with a bat with some members of the mob behind him we see kyle richards getting choked up by the shape or getting caught by the neck by the shape which looks like she's about to die maybe they shouldn't have shown that and we see michael doing a lot of killing the trailer starts off pretty intense it, the cinematography and everything just looks beautiful it looks like it's going to be just a visual delight to watch this carnage unfold on screen with how everything looked michael myers played by james jude courtney again he looked very dominant he looked like a force to be reckoned with he looked as if he was po'd but without taking it to that unnecessary over aggression that i feel like rob zombie gave us in halloween 2 and kind of in the original but this trailer is amazing jamie lee curtis she looks fantastic in it and there's actually something a sequence of her at the end of the trailer walking out with a knife saying pronouncing that she's coming for michael and i'll just share my thoughts on that really quick i think that is coming from her being in the hospital and learning that michael myers has just now killed her daughter karen strode and now that'll be the final shot of the film that's probably not going to be correct <laughs> but i hope that that would be kind of like the final shot of the film laurie strode walking out of her hospital room with that knife in hand where she got the knife from she had to have gotten it from someone who visited her to give her the news that hey you know michael michael just killed your daughter she's taking that knife walking out of the hospital and she's going to hunt down the man that just killed her daughter she's she's going to end this man once for all and that'll bridge into halloween ends i mean that'd be a very unique way to end the film very exciting way to get all of us amped up for halloween ends because it seems just based off of this trailer that came out that this is going to be the kind of fast paced portion of this night and then halloween ends probably will slow down a bit we'll probably have some intense moments but halloween kills i think will be the strongest out of this new trilogy if you want to call it or quadrilogy the strongest out of this three set of new films that we're getting anyway i don't think this will be better than john carver's original film no way i see that happening it might be more fun in terms of like would i prefer to watch this over halloween 1978 i could see that easily i could easily see that just from the vibes that i got from this trailer michael myers is not playing any games it's made very clear from the moment the trailer starts when those firefighters are on their way to them to Lori's house and one of them gets trapped they try to reach out to help the other one and michael grabs them he walks out from the fire other firefighters are watching in like awe of him like is he some type of phoenix that's risen or risen from the ashes like he should not be alive and they're trying to figure out well how, how is this man alive he starts taking them out while they're gearing up their weapons to try to take him out which we know of course will not go as planned 
Otherwise, we wouldn't have a movie. There's a lot of Easter eggs in it to Halloween 3 Season of the Witch, such as the one you see on your screen here. It's just very breathtaking. There's an intense moment between Allison and the shape where she's daring him to kill her. I don't think Allison will bite the dust in this. I don't, I don't think so whatsoever. I think it's important to note that while we will try to counter this with saying most of these actors are signed on for all three films them being signed on for all three films halloween 2018 halloween kills and halloween ends does not mean that they're not dying in halloween kills you can again show people use actors even after their characters have died in film we've seen that time and time again in tv series and many other films outside of the halloween franchise someone dying doesn't mean they won't be in the future film it doesn't mean that whatsoever even if it's a sequel they can be dead and there could be some type of movie magic done to have them come back. Some type of hallucination, some type of flashback to the moments prior to them dying even. So I don't think Allison will be dying. I don't think so. Here's that shot I was telling you about of Lori walking out of the hospital on her way to what looks like will presumably be face Michael Myers. And she looks like she herself is P.O.'d just like Michael. So the next time these two come face to face. I would bet that there's going to be a lot of bloodshed. I would honestly say that one of them won't be walking out alive. If I'm a betting man, I'm going to say it would be Lori Strode. I still would think that the smart choice here would be having Allison Strode have the final say in this. If Lori dies, she wouldn't die in vain. She would die protecting her granddaughter and her granddaughter will get the upper hand on Michael Myers somehow. Now, I don't think Mike, I don't think Allison could overpower Michael, but Allison Strode should still somehow be able to get get the upper hand and she should be the one to put the final nail in the coffin for this character in this new timeline. That's just my honest thoughts on that. That's what I would prefer to see happen in the in conclusion of this with Halloween ends that we know is coming out in October of 2022. But Blumhouse and Universal forced to push the trailer out today. They put it out at 930 later, 930 p.m. Eastern earlier tonight fantastic trailer breathtaking i'm sure you'll see a lot of reactions to it i'm just sharing my thoughts on it i think it's amazing i can't wait for october i'm actually now going to try to figure out what time i should even start my marathon because i would be anticipating getting a press screening invite to this upcoming film so seeing it before october 15th so i'll probably have to start watching the halloween films mid-september at the latest so that way i'll have watched all of them by the time i sit down to watch halloween kills I mean, I don't have to do that, but that's what what I would prefer to do. Uh, but let me know what you guys thought about the trailer down in the comment section below. You guys are the reason this happened. Those of you who kept sharing the images and kept sharing the snippets. My only two cents on that is I wasn't going to watch the official trailer until it was officially put out. Uh, the person who leaked it was a like a theater manager, they claim to be. So I guess your minutes of fame, if you think that's worth it, all the best of luck to you. I don't think it was worth it, but at least we got the official trailer. And let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe, turn on post notifications, and miss a video. In the description, I have a link to my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can match me there, of course, let me see any movies, news, or reviews I'm going to cover in the future. And my guys, I will see you in the next video.